Hello guys, this is Adam Sadagar and this is a tutorial for how to automate WhatsApp with Python. For automating Python, we are going to use a module I made called Subbot. It is extremely simple to use, so let's get started. So for Subbot to work, you'll need to install APM. Link for how to install APM will be down in the description below. If you still don't understand it, comment below and I'll make a tutorial video for that too. Okay, so to install Subbot, all you need to do is open PowerShell window and type pip install Subbot. That's it. Now let's create a new script and try out some basic program. So before I write the script, we should check if our phone is connected and debugging is turned on by using adb devices command. As you can see, our device is connected perfectly. So now let's start writing the program. I'll open up Visual Studio Code. First, we need to import Subbot in order to use it. Then we will create an instance for it. For that, we will use with S statement. Then finally, we can simply call send message action. It's that simple. Let's see if it works. So I'll open up a WhatsApp web window over here so that when the bot sends the message, you'll be able to see it too. Okay, before we start the bot, I need to turn on the APM server. And we got the message. Very cool. So this was a very simple script, which just sends one message. Now we'll try making a math solver. Pretty cool, right? So for that, we will create a callback method, as you can see in the documentation. Callback provides us with a contact name and a message, so that we can take in the message, use the eval function, and send back the reply with a send message action. We will enclose the eval method in a try accept block so that if some er error occurred while running it, it will just go back to the fallback reply. Usually, if we don't do anything, Subbot will just run everything in the block and it will just finish the main thread and, and the script will quit. So to avoid that, we can use subbot.wait for finish method. So basically it will wait for subbot to finish over there. What we are doing here is we created a function and we are passing it as a message received callback. In this callback, we are taking the message and we are running it over the eval function, which will return the result. If any exception occurs, it will take the sum error occurred message instead of the result. And after we get the result, we are just sending it back to the contact by using subbot.send message action. Let's try 5 plus 8, it should return 13. And it gives 13, 13 perfectly. Now let's try writing a, a bit bigger equation. And that works too. Cool. Let's just try something which returns an error. So I'll just do 1 by 0. Let's see if it returns our fallback message. message. And it does. Very nice. So, yeah. Yeah, this is the documentation for Subbot 2. Uh, you can just go through over it and see uh, how to install it and how to use it, what uh, what methods it ha it has, and how to e use each of these methods. I have written, I have explained it in, in it in detail that how each what each statement does, what action what actions it supports. You can find everything over here. Just a little note, this library is still 
in its earlier development stages so it's a bit bare minimum and it might have a lot of bu bugs but eventually with your help it will be pretty feature rich and stable that was it for now press the like button if you found found this informative press the dislike if you didn't subscribe for more and i'll see you guys later